reasonable question that everyone asks is, well, how long do the treatments take? Like, I'm not feeling very good, or I've had this chronic condition, or I've got bone-on-bone arthritis. Like, how long does it take? And the best way to answer that is to say that it's difficult to predict the future, but here, let me give you some parameters. Everybody responds differently. Like someone with our arthritis treatment, sometimes we give one treatment and people are significantly improved and we won't see them for three or four or five years on a, an ankle or a knee. I've had that happen. Other times people need, you know, four or five treatments. So to kind of start outlining some parameters for arthritis conditions, it's usually three to five treatments for a rotator cuff or a bone on bone knee and then some periodic maintenance therapy usually every 12 to 18 months on an internal condition like you know a paralyzed stomach or chronic Lyme or or a chronic viral infection or COVID long haul um, cancer support therapy which is we do a lot in the office is usually we start talking about blood cycles now what a blood cycle is is you get blood that comes out of the bone marrow goes into circulation it usually lives 90 to 120 days Usually by the time a 90-day mark rolls around, we start to see some really nice improvements in people. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to feel better until you hit the 90-day mark, but usually with a chronic health problem, we're looking at how can we, you know, change, how can we make a difference, and we start to build up, and, and, uh, and the treatments start to build on top of each other, and people say, you know, I didn't file anything the first two or three treatments, and then we get to treatment five or six, we're noticing a big difference, And we usually do internal treatments on a series of 10 treatments. Then we do a reevaluation. For sure, we'll do some live cell analysis and some SIRA and a system survey and a Raglan's test. Like that's kind of some of our markers. Depends. We might be doing additional blood tests. It just depends on what we're looking for on some of the liver kidney markers where that 90, 120 day mark for platelets and some of the red blood cells, it's a little bit longer. But we're constantly monitoring. Like every time you come in the office, you're filling out a form that says, you know, you're better, same, works different. Do you have any questions for the providers? And we're always looking to, to help people. Sometimes we stay with the protocol. Sometimes we're tweaking things. But that's a really nice overview on the injection procedures for arthritis or the other series. Usually it's a 90-day mark. Sometimes people are so much better. Like I just had a little girl today. We've gone through 90 days of treatment or a really, really difficult stomach condition, 100% better. Other times people will have, you know, a chronic myologic encephalopathy or will have, you know, a paralyzed stomach or some hormone imbalance, and it could be two or three blood cycles. Everybody's different. We try and treat the individual, not the disease, but that's a nice overview on how long